my beautiful ladies. It's Susan Davis, Prairie Girl Lifestyle. Hey, I hope you're having a great day. I appreciate your time, ladies. I appreciate you tuning in and watching my videos. I love doing the videos for you. It's really fun. And uh, just to let you know, I am a graphic designer. That was my trade for the last 18 years. So I know how to do videos. Uh, you know, I've built a lot of websites. So I have all the equipment to run the videos, to edit the videos. So it was just a perfect fit for me to combine my love of beauty and I have the technology. So here I am tutorial. on YouTube. Well, today's tutorial is going to be a hair tutorial. How I sell my hair like this. It's fast, it's easy, and great results. So if you want to see how I style my hair, then watch this video. Well, today's tutorial is going to be how I do my hair and also what I use on my hair. So I have all my makeup done. My eye look today is inspired by Uppy Beads 59. Have you ever watched her channel? Go check her out. She did an eye tutorial just recently on warm colors like this. And I used my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette to create this look. Okay, so let's talk about hair. Okay, so last night I washed, you know, took my shower, washed my hair, so it's clean. So I get up this morning. Now my hair is very fine and thin. And I have to really work hard to keep my hair in good condition where it's not breaking off and through trial and error over the years trying different products finding what works best on my hair I've, I've got my routine down on I've got the products that I know work on my hair so some of the products I use on my hair are absolutely I have to have them and then there's other products that eh, you know I, I'll fudge a little bit on my shampoo and conditioner. Fudge meaning, you know, lower the price on those to save money so I can afford the other products that I absolutely know help hydrate my hair and stop the split ends. So, on a morning like this where I know my hair is clean, I'm not going to rewash my hair. What I'm going to do is spritz it with some water. And then I'm going to add some mousse. And here's the two products I've been using lately. Okay, so one of the mousses I use in my hair is the Biomega line. This is called Up All Night. And the reason I use this is because my beautician has it in her salon. And I'm a big believer in supporting small business. So even though it might be a little more costly in her salon, I'm going to purchase it from her to support her business. Now, I don't always buy my mousse from her. If I'm not buying from her, then I go to, you know, uh, the uh, discount store. And this Garnier line, I think, is really good. Um, this is the Fructus Style Volume Inject. It's a nice mousse. I find this a really good brand. While we're talking about products, let's just talk about my non-negotiables on my hair. Uh, again... My hair is thin, dry, it'll break easy. In order for me to keep it even this long, I have to really work at it. And here, so here's one of the products I absolutely cannot be without. It's, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This is a non-negotiable for me. Works really well. I spritz that on my hair after I wash my hair and work it in really well. It is a moisturizer, and yes, it works very well on my hair. The other product that I cannot be without is this Aquage Sea Extract Oil. Again, my beautician sells this in her salon, and this is a product that I absolutely buy from her every time I go in and get my hair done. Well, maybe not every time, maybe every other time, but you know, whenever I'm out. Um, this stuff is amazing. It's silkening oil treatment, and it has ingredients in it, you know, like from the sea. It's a sea extract, seaweed, 
Argon oil, that's a big one, you hear that all the time. Kale. Beet extract. So it's got a lot of botanicals in it. In it. And I take two pumps of this after I wash my hair and really work it in. And yes, between that and this one, it keeps my hair moisturized and keeps it from breaking off. And then also on this oil, you know, I leave it in. I just leave it in. I don't wash this out. I leave it in my hair overnight. Every time I use this oil, I just leave it in. I suppose um, some people maybe would wash this out of their hair, but I don't. I put it in my hair at night, leave it in. If I feel like my hair is getting dry, I take a couple pumps of this, even on dry hair, work it through my hair, and leave it in. This stuff is amazing stuff. Um, okay, so then let's talk about, after I do my hair, what products do I use? I've already talked about the mousse, which I'm going to demonstrate here in a minute. I use that for uh, body, put a little body in my hair. And then after I take my hair out of my curlers, I use, like to use a thickening spray to thicken my hair up because it's so fine. So this is uh, Kenra. Again, my beautician, she has Kenra in her salon, so again, I support her. This is the Dry Texture Spray. Works very good. So this is after my hair comes out of the curlers and my hair is dry. I spray my hair with this and work it in. If I don't use that one, uh, if I'm at the, if I'm at the, uh, if I'm at Target or, you know, Walmart or wherever I'm at, this BB Thickening Spray is another good one that I use. And then I might use this um, Shine Serum by Kenra. This just takes the frizzies down and, you know, puts a little more moisture in my hair. So after I've styled my hair, I take a couple pumps of this and work it into my hands and work it through my hair. And then last but not least, of course, I have to have some hairspray. So this is the Kenra hairspray that I use. Again, my beautician has this in her salon. This is the Super Hold Finishing Spray 25. I like this hairspray. It's lightweight. It doesn't um, weigh my hair down. It holds my hair very nicely, and, and it's lightweight, so I like that. Okay, so on with the show. So here I am again. My hair is clean. Now I want to style it. So I'm going to take my water bottle and spritz my hair and get it a little bit wet. Not soaking wet. Just damp. I'm just going to get it damp. Work that in, get my hair damp. Okay, let's add a little mousse. I'll use the Garnier one. Okay, so I have some in my hand, so I'm gonna work that in. Pat it on my hair, work it through. Okay. All right. Okay, now I have my little comb here, my fine tooth comb. I'm going to comb through my hair. This, you know, there's a lot of different ways I do my hair, style my hair. This happens to be the quickest, and actually I think it looks the best out of all the different ways and all the curling irons I use. This method works really good. So then I'll just take the rack. I'll take the end of it and pull my hair up. Now um, I'm trying to do this in the viewfinder, so bear with me if it's okay. So now I'm using Velcro rollers to style my hair. So I'm going to put this first one in, and I am going to secure it, and I am going to secure it with a little pin like this.
Okay. Now I'm going to go and just put these rollers in my hair. Going with the big one. I have three of these big ones. I'll secure it with a pin. Okay, I'll just put another one in. Another big one. And then I finish with these smaller pink ones. So we'll put one of those in. Okay, these bangs, use one of these pink ones on those. These Velcro, Velcro rollers are nice because they grab onto your hair. And so on the sides, and this one I'm going to put a clip in because they have a tendency to want to fall down. And that one should be okay by itself. Look how easy this is. Of course, I have thin hair, so it doesn't take very many rollers. If you have thick hair, you're going to need a lot more of these, but I don't have that much hair. So, clip that one down. One more. That's it. Okay, now I got those in. Okay, so the next step is I take my hair dryer, blow dry this dry, and it sets that heat will set this curl. So I'm going to go blow dry my hair, and I'm not going to take very long doing it. Um, well, I'll tell you why, because again, my hair is very thin, and so it doesn't take long to dry it. So, you know, just a few minutes. Let me go dry this, and I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back. Now I have dried my hair for, I don't know, three to five minutes. Again, my hair is very thin and fine, so it doesn't take long for me to dry my hair. And, you know, I, I didn't have my hair completely wet either. I just spritzed it with the water. So this is a fast, easy way to do your hair in the morning. It works out slick. I have these rollers in my hair, so after I blow dry on my hair then I can walk around do my whatever I need to do and just let it I let it sit for a while as long as I want really until I'm ready to go somewhere or if I'm in a hurry then you know whatever five ten minutes and then I take my hair down the longer it can sit the better it's going to be so this is only sat for a few minutes but I'm going to go ahead and take it out and see what we have so when I'm ready to take my hair out, I just take these rollers out. And again, this is not set as long as I would prefer it to sit, but for the demonstration of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out. Okay, so there's what I have when I take my hair out. So, not going to touch it. Going to use the dry texture spray on my hair. And then work that dry texture into my hair. So you can see the fullness that it gives my hair. I really like what that those I really like those big rollers. They add a lot of fullness. This is a straight look. Now I'm not gonna mess with this a whole lot. What I can do and will do is back comb my hair. This is a back comb brush. So I can use this and I can also use my little fine tooth comb brush 
And what I can do is just, I may have to get up and show you. I'm just going to put all my hair forward like that. And then I'm going to take this brush right here and Just do back comb like that. You saw that wasn't much. Flip my hair back over. Okay, now I have all kinds of things going. I have all kinds of poofiness going on. Then I'll take this brush right here and very lightly start to shape my hair. And I'm I don't have a mirror in front of me, so and then pull my bangs down. Oh, I can either wear bangs or I can take it off to the side, either one. And then again, very lightly going over my hair to get it to lay down. If I want to wear bangs, I'll just brush them out. And if my bangs aren't laying the way I like them to, then I will get my um, flat iron out and style my bangs. And then I just decide, do I want my hair maybe kind of back around my ears like this? Or do I want to take it down, you know, where it's framing my face. I can do either way. Okay, so again, my bangs, you know, if I don't like the way they look, then I'll turn on my uh, flat iron and style them. But they don't look too bad. I'll go ahead and leave them this way. And then I can either style my hair behind my ears or I can bring it forward. So that's what my hair looks like. And if I want more height here, I can take my comb and do a little more back combing. And then I will finish it off with my hairspray. And not a lot, just enough to kind of hold it throughout the day. So that's the easiest way I find to do my hair. And I think my hair looks really good with just using these rollers. Using these rollers, I think it works really good. Other ways I do my hair would be, I do have a flat iron that I use and I have a curling wand that I use. But I find that, especially with the flat iron, I get, this is the same look I'll get with my flat iron. And this is so much easier. I can just put, put my hair up in these rollers, mess around, do whatever I want while it's sitting on my head, come take them out, and I don't have to do all this, you know, with your arms and your hands get tired and your arms get tired. And if you're like me, I'm starting to get a little arthritis in my hands, so this is much easier. I get the same result. It's really a no-brainer. Okay, let's pause this uh, recording for just a minute. I forgot to mention that, yes, I do color my hair. I had some subscribers asking me, and my beautician colors my hair. I've been going to the same beautician for 30 years, so I totally trust her uh, talent. My hair color is brunette. I would be about 50% gray if I didn't color my hair. A few years ago, I started lightening my hair because I thought it would make me, you know, look younger. With age, I thought the dark hair would age me. And I actually went all the way to blonde. And then we went back to brunette uh, a couple years ago, and oh my gosh, I loved it. It was like my eyes popped, my makeup looked better, 
So my original hair color brunette is absolutely goes with my skin tone and everything. So I'm going to stick with that until, you know, it doesn't look good. But uh, yeah, she does my hair and uh, colors it for me. Okay, back to the show. Okay, so that is my easy way of doing my hair. My fastest, easiest, and most favorite way of doing my hair. I hope this video has helped you out a little bit on hair styling and some of the products I like to use in my hair that I know work. Thanks for watching, ladies. I hope you go out and make it a great week, a great day. Enjoy your day. Spread the love. Fill somebody's bucket up today. Give them a positive message. That's what we're here for. All right, ladies, you go out and make it a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.